2021. We're here to do our live chat today. Basically going to be a haul of some things I have gotten over the last, say, two to three weeks. <laughs> so I've been kind of forgetting to show stuff. So we're just gonna show it all today. So I need to pull you guys up on YouTube. my notifications off. <laughs> Let's see. Bitcoin, the best money we've ever had. Okay, I thought I had cut the volume down the first time. Must have cut it back up. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're just going to wait for people to get into the room since I just started it. And... Gotta, my friends are here. <laughs> so we'll just wait a few minutes or a minute <laughs> and let people get into the room. I was just trying to get something to eat. So I kind of rushed in here at the last second. Let's see, we've got Deborah Quilts here, says hello T and all T quilters. It's been a nice day, but now starting to rain. Yes, I'm trying to figure out when I can have my brother come over and uh, I want to pay him to cut my grass. <laughs> um, so it's been real difficult to pick a day. They said it was going to rain like almost all week. So we've been having a couple of good days where he could have come over. And we also have Kevin the quilter here. Hey, Kevin. He says, evening, Miss T. <laughs> and uh, he says, and all T quilters. Vivian Cavi is here. Says, hi, T and everyone. Hi, Miss Vivian. Darlene Crosby says, hello, T and T quilter friends. Hope everyone is doing well. Lynette Williams says, hey, everyone. Nisi Ma says, hey, waving. <laughs> and uh, she says, T and everybody. Uh, C Rack says, Hey, T. Uh, Tree Lady says, Hi, T, and everyone. Hello to you as well. Vicki Lemire's here saying hello. Judy Judy says, Hello, T, and quilters. Cheryl Clute says, Hello, T, and everyone. Let's see. Ella Odom says, Good evening, Miss T, and everyone. And then June Hansen also is here saying, Hi, T, and everyone. Little wet here today. Teresa McCormick. Good evening, T and all. And then Jackie K, uh, Canada says hello, everyone. Yippee, another haul to see. <laughs> yes, I'm up here just going through a hot flash. I don't even know where that come from because I was sitting here just fine. Okay, <laughs> I did just cut on another light, so I think it must be that light. Although it's um LED bulb, it, it's making me hot. It must be that light, so I'm gonna have to fix that, I guess, because I was fine before I cut that on. <laughs> Get some water. And Lietta Bryant is here. Hi, Lietta. She says hello, T, and everyone. <clears throat> Trying to make sure no one else comes in. Um, I'll go over what I've been working on in the past week, I guess. I've actually pulled back out my sashiko. I've probably done about four, maybe five of these. I have to find my other ones to see <laughs> how many I've done. You know, I got so many works in progress. Uh, they not in this room because I got all of these over here labeled. So it's not in this room. So I got to figure out. I don't think they are. I got to figure out where I put them. But I'm working on this one. I'm almost finished. I got to do one more line inside uh, where, my th where my needle is. I've got to finish that line out to the edge. And then I just need to go around and do the outer edge where my fingertip is right here. So then I've just got to do that. So I've been just kind of... Um, since I haven't been home like I normally am, I just uh, took this when I was out and I was doing some handwork. So I'm glad. I kind of like doing it 
um, because all the lines are already there for me. So I hate this pattern though because it's all all those turns. It just got on my nerves, but uh, I'm glad I'm almost done with it. And then I put a second one in here that's like uh, those little petals. I guess you can't see it. Got the next one ready. I always try to work on one and have another one in the pack. So this is my next one. So I started working on that. I also am working on laundry basket quilts. They're mystery, they're 2021 mystery, which started last Monday. We are on clue number nine today. I have not sewn clue nine today, but I have sewn one through eight. I'll sew it later tonight. I just had a full day today where I did a lot of grocery shopping and then I spent most of my day chopping up food, like <laughs> uh, chopping up vegetables so that they're already chopped for different types of meals and also chopping up fruits, rinsing fruits, chopping fruits. Um, yeah, P pulling the grapes off the... <laughs> off the vines that kind of stuff no fun so but that's what i did today um oh i did some orders too i did process some orders so did that today i have not gone through my emails yet uh and thinking of emails uh just a reminder that the retreat that i had talked about having the virtual retreat on zoom for june has been postponed until probably in the fall sometimes because I, I have no control of my time right now so I don't know what I'm going to be doing in uh, in June so let's see who else has come in mm -hmm. quite a few people have come in I think Lietta was the last one we talked about and we've got uh, Terry T here saying hello everyone Sheila Willis here says, good evening, everyone, and tea. Sue is here from St. Louis. She says, good evening from Overcast, St. Louis. How did you like the books? Any you can use. I pulled some out. I pulled out the machine embroidery books. I like to read books like if it was a regular novel, fiction novel. So I like to read them from front to back, and I just pulled those out so I could read them. So I don't know yet, but I have bought similar books that I really like. So that's why I pulled those out first. So thank you, Sue, for the donation of the books. I was going to mention that in the haul. I did not bring that in here because it's, she gave me two boxes of books. And uh, I am going to be, I was collecting books to be taking to retreat so that I could like share, have like a reading library when I go to retreats. But I think what I'm going to also do, because uh, Sue has donated so many books, is that I'm going to... Um, probably add on to my Facebook page, maybe upload book titles, and then like give people the choice of getting one book for free, and then you pay for the other books if you want more than one, but I'm trying to give everybody a chance to get a book for free, and maybe uh, just donating postage for your book to be mailed to you maybe. So that's what I'm thinking about doing, because Sue has given me um, about maybe two or three book uh, no must have been more than two like three or four boxes of books before and uh so i got quite a few books and since i haven't been on any retreat she donated some last year but i have kept them and uh, i had somebody that was looking for alex anderson books and i happened to have those in the books that sue gave me so i donated it to them <laughs> so uh, I appreciate, Sue, you doing that, and I'm going to also share it with some of the tea quilters when I just figure out the best way to uh, share that information. I think it would probably have to be on Facebook. So if you don't have Facebook, I'm sorry, because I don't know how else I'm going to get you a whole list of books. And then you can tell me if you want anything off that uh, list, you've been looking for something, would be great. Um, Nancy Gus says, good evening, T." and everyone. Katrina also says hello Miss T and all Quilty friends. Cynthia Shade says good evening to all from Chicago. And June says that's nice. <laughs> uh, I think she's talking about the Sashiko. Lisa Peck says hello Miss T and everyone. 
Fat Cat Frankie says hi. Uh, Heart and Soul said hello from Arizona. Hello to you and as well. Welcome to the channel. Brenda Foley says hello from Kentucky. And Kevin says, Sue, can you please contact me sometime soon? Thanks. Um, let's see. I think that's it. So, what else have I been working on? Before we get into the haul, I'm not going to open this up. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to post a video that's going to have my works in progress from February on because I have not done any of that. I'm just going to figure out how to combine it all in one project. But I just wanted to show that I did finish my quilt top here. I ended up going with a orangey, pinky red. <laughs> it's like an orangey, pinky, reddish color. And um, I chose that color. Um... Uh, I think the suggestion was to use pink, and it's not a whole lot of pink in here. Pink is not a dominant color in the plaid, although it's in here. So I just decided to go with something just a little brighter than pink. So I'll show you that because, of course, in this room, I can't show you this whole thing. But I did put, let me see if I can find Jackie K's block. I think I see it right here. No, not Jackie K. Janet Mills, Guthrie her block. I did put it here. Remember I told you it was going to be in the cornerstones um, because I was doing my blocks in color, like background color, and she was one of the few people that had used a multi-print, so that's why hers is as a cornerstone. But it kind of got to have its own special place. So I have worked on that. So trying to think that I saw anything else I actually went through I got containers stacked over here I've gone through containers been labeling containers with what I have also that brown box you see through my sewing machine right here <laughs> I have that box and another box in my bedroom that I've been going through fabric scraps still got fabrics that I'm going to be donating I may end up putting that on Facebook too. People that are interested, maybe they can pay the shipping on that because I'm going to be doing medium-sized mailing boxes from uh, through the United States Postal Service. And uh, I can do that on Facebook maybe and just have um, uh, I can show you what some of it looks like. I'll, I'll put some, but I probably have like four boxes. I got books. I got it's going to be some giveaway days around here. <laughs> right now, I'm just basically going through uh, scraps. I got some books that I got duplicates of that I'm going to be giving away that I think are great books. So, um, I don't know. I don't know how to do that. Maybe I need to do a giveaway video. But, um, if you're listening to this video... What I normally do when I do YouTube videos, if I do it on YouTube, which is where I really want to do it, is on YouTube. So maybe I'll just say it's going to be a YouTube video where I'm going to have giveaway days. Uh, the hint to you winning, uh, though, if I'm going to, after this video goes live, put some kind of a comment out on the comment section when this video goes live. Um... And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw from those winners. However, if you have not posted a comment or been in live or if I don't know your name, I'm not going to put you in the drawing. Because <laughs> I don't want to put people who just happen to pop into my first video into a drawing and they haven't really been supporting my channel. So it's going to be quite a few giveaways. And then maybe what I'll do is I'll take those names, put them in a bowl, and then one Wednesday, I don't know when, <laughs> but one Wednesday, I will just pull uh, names from a bowl of those that have won. Um, so, because I got books, I got fabrics. Um, trying to think what else. <laughs> so, yeah, I got, I can't remember what all is in the in that box, but it's a lot in the box. I know I got some uh, Boogie Born books, people that like Boogie Born. I really love them. Uh, for how they have you create picture scenes from just fat quarters. So, 
if you're interested in that just make sure that you comment on this particular video once it goes live in the outside comment section not the chat <laughs> people get chat mixed up with the comment section so make sure that you put it in the right uh, place and uh, that would be great um and I'm also trying to find people that if I've already sent you scraps, I'm looking for other people to send scraps to. And remember that these are not going to be your bright, shiny scraps because I'm getting rid of stuff that I'm kind of tired of looking at. And I've got so much stuff piled up here, I ain't going to even try to go in there because <laughs> I've been working on trying to organize my pile. So, um, yeah, but I'll put all of that into... I'm going to give my scraps away on Facebook, and I'll put, if I haven't given you scraps already, because I've been giving some people scraps when they've been making orders and stuff like that. I've just been putting something in a uh, bag, and sometimes I haven't even put a scrap. I may put a whole yard of fabric in there, so you just never know what I'm going to put in your bag. It depends on uh, how empty these boxes are. I got two going now, so I had one box at first. I was getting rid of them so fast, and uh, the last couple of days I've really been going through stuff so um yeah I still got stuff out everywhere but at least I got it in the giveaway pile the sorted pile of where it's gonna go like I got boutiques that I need to put up with the other boutiques that's the hard part novelties I need to put up with novelty so I'm doing a whole lot of sorting but nothing's gotten put up yet okay <laughs> um Uh, let's see who was the last one I read from okay I think uh, Shana Krause says good evening hello to you as well uh, she says hello to everyone Lisa's talking to Nancy Sue says how do you want me to contact you Kevin photo Kevin she's he's put it there Cynthia Washington says thank you for the house pattern can't stop making them oh you're welcome I actually wanted to do that as a sew along. I haven't, all I did was made the block. Um, that was like one of my Gill optional blocks that I did a video on. And I thought, you know, maybe I'll win it, but I didn't. <laughs> I hardly ever win drawings. Um, thanks, T, for getting Sue's attention. And thank you, Sue, laughing out loud. Teresa McCormick says, love that plaid. It's fabulous. Thank you. That's one of those um, Marshall Dry Goods plaids that I actually like. I got two different kinds. I bought that. I talked to you all about that when I bought the uh, batting from them last year when Kevin and I went and visited. Uh, Conquering Mount Scrappamore with Brenda says hello from Canada. Hope all of you are having a wonderful evening. A. Adele Smith uh, says I'll take the scraps. <laughs> Uh, you got to be in the Facebook. I'm going to put over in the Facebook scrap. Again, as I said, I got to know your name. Um, so I know uh, that you have been a supporter of T Quilt. Um, Elaine Doucette says, but I always put two thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you. Darlene says, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Uh, Katrina says, that Miss T and friends, Sherry wanted to let everybody know she's doing better. Also wanted to thank everyone for the prayers. You're so welcome, and I'm so glad that she is. Prayers do work, as I've been aware of recently. Uh, Judy Plaster is here, says, how's everyone doing today? Uh, Lynette says, I started thumbs up first, so she don't forget later. Yep. <laughs> Elaine Doucette says, hello from Northern Ontario. Hello, Elaine. Vanessa Brown says, hello, T Quilters. Uh, June Hansen says, um, she's still talking about Shari. He's definitely in many prayers. Katrina, that's from Terry. Uh, Katrina says, I asked Cliff to email you and tell you that that was a mistake. Thank you for the surprise. She talking about there was a mistake with her um, t-shirt package. I've been, like I said, um, instead of having drawings, and I'm trying to get people that actually support me in what I do. So anytime somebody had been ordering, and if I have any scraps laying around at that time, that fabric, you know, like, <laughs> I'm like, 
okay, you need you need a new home. So I get, send, I've been sending them to people instead of using packaging stuff. I've been using fabric scraps as packaging. <laughs> so I've been um, using priority mail and so uh, flat rate. And so what I do is I just put some stuff, extra stuff in it if I can. Sometimes I have a lot. Sometimes I don't have a lot. But I just send you what I have. Uh, Tiffany is here. She says, hi, T and friends. I am only here for a few minutes. Hello. And, uh, hey, Tiffany, before you leave, can you put my Facebook link up there and then I'll pin it? Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Uh, Tucker is here. He says, hey, T and everyone doing some updates to my long arm tonight. Janet Mackerel says, hello, T and quilters. Uh, Don Cunningham says, hello, everyone. Running late today. Hi, Don. And I think that's it. People are talking to other people, so I just let those kind of go. So let's go ahead and get into some of the haul stuff. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start with the worst part is I bought some fabric, okay? <laughs> Maybe I will start with the fabric because I bought more fabric than I thought I bought. Let's start with the Amazon stuff. I bought, um, I made the pin cushions back here that you can see this. And a lot of people made them and uploaded photos into the T Quilts group. And so... I ordered some of these magic pens. I had been seeing them for a while. Um, and I just was trying to wait until I needed pens. And so I'm about to run out of my glass head pens. And these are also heat resistant. So I thought that I would give them a try. So this is the silk for silk pens. And I got these because I thought they might be thinner than the other pens I got. which is called the uh, uh, quilting pins or regular pins. They call these just quilting pins and they're the regular. So I got a blue tips and the orange tips. So if I don't like the blue ones, then I'll see which one I like. And I haven't opened the packages yet. Just trying to keep everything intact. They come with a nice little carrying case. Turn it to the side so you can see that. So you don't have to um, put them all in your pin cushion and you got a nice case to look like to hold them. Hopefully the snaps are good. Like I said, I haven't opened them to really give a product review. Just letting you know what I got. Just a haul. <laughs> Shaquita is here. Pearson, she says, hi, T and everyone. Hi to you as well. Sharon Lewis says, T, hi T and quilters, driving home from, I guess from work, it's nice to have good company. Uh, Jackie K says, I am working on a Snails Trails King quilt for my son and a new puppy quilt. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Tiffany, for putting the link. I'm going to see if I can pin it again. Whoops. Last time it let me pin your comment. I don't want to put you in time out. It's pen message. Thank you so much for the Facebook link. Um, Janet says that she loved the pens. I know some people have, one person had even posted them with them already in her pen cushion, so I appreciate that. Terry T says, the cases always reminds me of little coffins. <laughs> that is funny. Um... Tiffany says, more family here. Got to get back to cooking, but I'll be listening. Thank you, Tiffany. Okay, so that's Amazon. I did put links for these pins. No, I did not. I was going to put, I tried to do this on my desktop, and when I got to my iPad, it wasn't even there. So I had it all linked up, so I'll have to add it to the video later. Uh, next order came from... Um, that's not fabric related. Came from AccuQuilt. They had a day where they had, you buy three dyes. I think you got 30% off of the dyes. So that's what I did. And this was the one I wanted the least, but I'll explain why I got it. 
as I'm going through scraps, I realized that I have a lot of smaller ones. And so I got the six inch crazy quilt die. I already have the 10 inch crazy quilt die on the, and I think I got it for the studio. And so I went ahead and got it in the go for some of my smaller pieces because yeah, I'm touching fabrics, you know, trying to figure out how to get rid of them. And then I also got this one here too that I also thought that I could do scrappy instead of just two fabrics is the heart. So I bought these. This is a six inch finish size too. So I decided to get some of the smaller finished block on boards because I tend to order the nine inches or the 12 inch finished ones so that I can start working with some of my smaller scraps, hopefully. And then the last die I got was this uh, chimney sweep block. And um, I think the squares in this are two and one half. But I just went ahead and got it because it, it would just allow me to cut the rectangles as well. Everything was on here. And plus I needed a third one. So it was kind of like this was my free one in a way. So that's the only reason I got it. And again, for cutting up uh, smaller scraps, two and a half inch squares, a two and a half by six and a half inch rectangle, a two and a half by four and a half, I think rectangle. Let me see if they say that. They don't tell you to have to look inside for individual measures, but that's what I think it is anyway. And Eleanor Burns of Quilting a Day, she had some other things that you could do with this particular die. So I thought that was pretty interesting. And it had, you know, it had the corner triangles, which are a little bit smaller. And I didn't know if I had it in any other of my um, cubes. So that was another reason I got it because Eleanor Burns has shown some different things that you can do with this particular die. Um, Katrina says, I only have four blocks to finish. One of Shari's work in progress to make. We'll take a picture tomorrow for everyone to see. All right. <laughs> She's going to post it in the Facebook group. Uh, Carla says, hello to you and everybody. <laughs> and I'm trying to, ooh, we got more dies for our collection. That's my friend Kevin. <laughs> Yes, Kevin. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that was just those three. They have a good sale. I don't know why I got the mail in here. It's junk mail. <laughs> I guess I was trying to just get it ready for the trash because I don't even open junk mail. But I sure got it just tossed in here. It needs to go in the trash. I don't even have to put this back in the bag, but I can put this trash back in here. That's for sure. <laughs> All right. I guess I better prop those up here. Okay, now we're to fabric, and I, I have, I don't have as much as you think, but <laughs> I got more than I thought I had, because I found, I said, ooh, I forgot all about that. <laughs> and I did, somebody, uh, local, um, Terry, she contacted me. I'm not going to say her last name, because I don't know if she wants to be on here. But she also <laughs> gave me a box of scraps. So I have not gone through these. She, these are like her leftover pieces from making masks. So I may keep some of these. I may end up putting some of these into the donate pile. But um, this could be a box as well of stuff to be donated. I'm going to keep some of them because I like switching fabrics around because I get to get fabrics that I don't have in my stash. And then I'm sending people stuff on my stash that I'm tired of looking at. Okay. <laughs> so it's like playing the fabric switcheroo. Okay. So we'll do this box last. This, I got three pieces of fabric here that I purchased. And remember when I bought fabric the last time I was at... I think I went to Jackman's to get fabric for a project I want to cut from scraps. That was for my boutiques. And so, so I had a $50 gift card at a fabric shop. 
and I happened to be in that area because I had to go check on some stuff for a retreat. And so I went ahead and used my $50 gift card because I have been notorious for getting to the retreat center of a place somebody gave me a gift card to and my gift cards at home. <laughs> so I said, go ahead and use it today. Don't worry about when retreat come. If you need something on retreat, then you can buy what you need <laughs> and then you'll be done. So I ended up buying two more light background batiks. Remember I told you all, I realized I didn't have a lot of yardage of lights because I'm a very colorful person and I tend to buy <laughs> all the beautiful prints of the batiks. And so I have been just going to buy some background pieces of batik. I really like this one. I think the other set that I got, I had hexagons. So I'm really into the geometrics in the background. And then this also, I have this fabric in black. But I thought I was going to use this in my block swap, the album, the evening star that I just showed you. And then I was short like three quarters of a yard. And that quilt shop is a 40 minute ride from my house. So I was not going back. So they have this in black with all the different colors. It is really gorgeous. So I saw it in the gray because I was trying not to put something that was going to be, I didn't want to put black up against my blocks to make it really be dark. And so I thought, well, maybe I'll do gray. Now, I have never, I don't really buy a whole lot of gray fabric. So this was unusual for me. And this is from Windham Fabrics. And it's called Splotch. S-P-L-O-T-C-H, in case you're interested. Or want to go see what other color backgrounds. I know they got black. I know they got gray. I don't know what other colors they got, if you're interested. So those are, I think I probably spent about because i got three yards of this a yard two yards of this one and then a yard and a half so i probably spent about twenty dollars in addition to my fifty dollar gift certificate and so then you kind of get those emails where <laughs> those emails where things are going you know like it's a great sale this was cheaper than missouri star let me see where the paper is so i bought some jelly rolls like i need them right but i bought them anyway <laughs> they were 22.49 each they are 40 strips of jelly rolls and they're 20 fabrics which means you're going to get two of each jelly roll so um I'll just show you. I got three different kinds. I got two of this one. They're all island batik. This one was the Freedom Batiks. So I got two of those. And this is the last stuff that I got for the haul. Well, no, it's not. I got some other stuff. <laughs> But it's not my fault. <laughs> we all know who, who fault it is when I say it's not my fault, right? <laughs> this one is Black Pearl Batiks. Right here. I got two of those. And then I also got the Snowberry Batiks. And just one of these. So, again... And then I, um, the only thing, this came from jellyrollfabrics.net, uh, which is the name of the company. And it's also their web address if you add the www. And um, they um, do charge shipping, so you can never uh, X out of your shipping. I think they're a small company, too. Uh, so I can understand that when they give the larger companies the best, you know, they give them shipping rates where they're almost shipping for near free. So I do understand that. But then I had to pay another, so $22.49 for each jelly roll plus $13 for shipping, which is not bad. It was in a prim, uh, priority mailbox. I was trying to see, I don't know what this is. It doesn't say it's a flat rate box, so I don't understand, but but all of it came in there. It's pretty heavy, so I'll probably be giving away, since we're USA, 
I'll probably be adding one of these into the gear pile. Ugh. Put that over there so it's not going back in the box. Again, how are you going to be eligible to win or get into the drawing? There is no fee, <laughs> but you need to comment on this video once it uploads. Just put anything in the comments because you all haven't been really commenting outside of the videos. I can't keep chats. I can't see chats. I have to go back and write each individual chat down. Whereas if you all comment on the outside of the video, I can use like a random video tracker. Again, if I don't know your name, you're not going to win because I'm not looking for people that are new to my channel that um, just coming here for the drawing. That's why I have not had a video where I was actually doing drawings in years on the outside of YouTube. I've been doing most of my drawings in the chat or just like you make an order and I'm sending you scraps. So I want to uh, send to people that are patronizing tea quilts my prizes and not someone that just jumped in for just one video because it said it was a prize attached to it so that's kind of how you're going to be entered to win those and of course i'm not putting my brother in there <laughs> that is funny he just happened his name popped up hold on i know y'all are probably talking about a lot of saying that the fabrics is beautiful i'm gonna skip a lot of that because i know we all love fabric <laughs> uh, let's see i'm trying to get new people that have come in and i can't remember the last thing i posted i know i talked about katrina uh carla ford came in i remember that uh Rhonda Barlow says, hello, TN everyone, 75 watching and only 35 thumbs up. Let's hit the thumbs up button. Thank you, Rhonda. Nice dyes you got from Don. Claudette Bettis came in, says, hello, TN everyone. Hello to you as well. Eric Oda came in going, hello, hello. Uh, hola. <laughs> Which is Spanish. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I went to Spanish. Um, Eric says, Look like she's doing a haul. Where she go shopping? <laughs> Online. Uh, Robin Boyd says, hello, Miss T. Hi, Robin. Trying to get the people who are coming in. Angela Stringer says, good evening, T folk. Uh, Zup T, this is Scott. Heard you were on and had to say hi. Hey, Scott. Hope you all are having fun today and congratulations on to your family. <laughs> Don says, I like dark fabrics, but since we have pets, I tend not to get as much. And Nancy is saying, anxious to see how you like those magic pens at T. Yeah, I'm going to put them into the pen cushion now. I've been holding off until I talked about them. I've had that for a couple weeks and just kept forgetting to tell you all about them. Very pretty quilting hanging up behind you. That's the Charlotte sometimes that I'm actually working on that I need to go back to, but I uh, just kind of got tired because I've been doing that in the so long. I just got tired of that, and so I started working on the laundry basket quilt um, so along, which is on part number nine today. <laughs> and Don says, uh, uh Kevin's in trouble. <laughs> and, and Kevin going it's not my fault either okay then I'm going to tell you show you what's Kevin's fault in a minute I was trying to get through here and welcome other quilters but he's always causing trouble my brother came in says hi sis and everyone hope you all are staying safe and I am coming by your job tomorrow I have not copied your taxes yet <laughs> but I will <laughs> And uh, I'm going to drop them off at your job sometime tomorrow just so I can get that off of my to-do list. Um, Katrina says, I like jelly rolls because I don't know how to read the quilt rulers laughing out loud. Um, Carla says, thank you, T, for my scraps. Love my tie-dye shirts. They both fit me perfect. Awesome. <laughs> 
Yeah, so when you, like I said, if they ordered something, because I got tired of trying to figure out how to give out scraps, so I just started using scraps as packaging. <laughs> so I sent out, some people got scraps, if I had scraps, and if I didn't have scraps, I felt bad, so then I went and found a piece of yardage or something, okay? <laughs> I'm not even going through yardage at this time, but I was like, you got to get something out of here. Tiffany's cooking chicken, potatoes, veggies, and baked beans. It's her secret chicken concoction, laughing out loud. Somebody's cooking it. I uh, love my blue top magic pens. That's from Sue. And Linda DeVito's here says, hi, Tina, everyone. Welcome from Beverly Hills, Florida. So what's Kevin's fault? Kevin has a knack for doing what he's doing, but then he'll call me or on Messenger and videotape me and he's trying to get me to buy fabric out of quilt shops okay so he called me he sent me pictures first and i go yeah that's pretty but i'm not gonna do it he calls me i tell him kevin i'm staying strong i'm not gonna do it so then he comes back and he says well which one of these do you like i'm gonna buy you a yard of fabric so then i pick one and then uh, my dear friend Kevin comes back still with two fabrics, okay? <laughs> He's a mess. <laughs> but um, I, have, I have a purpose for this fabric. And I'm doing, well, I'm supposed to be doing a Millifori quilt. And when he showed me this, because it had all the repeats in it, and you can do a lot of fussy cutting with the templates, that you have from Millifori. So I thought this one was a nice size repeat where I had a lot of repeats. And so it would be, I wouldn't need as much fabric to make the quilt top. So this is what I asked him for, one yard. I'm, and my intent was that I was paying for this, that he wasn't paying for this. Okay. <laughs> oh, let me see what the salvage information, because you all like to know that as well when I'm showing you new fabric like this. This is a Quilting Treasures fabric, and um, it just says Debbie, D-E-B-I, Payne, P-A-Y-N-E for Quilting Treasures. Doesn't have any other identifying data. Trying to make sure on the salvage. So, no name of the actual fabric. So, I'm sorry about that. But, there's this uh, website called quiltshops.com. Trying to get this down so you can read the salvage all the way. Okay, there we go. You can go to quiltshops.com. What it is, is a shop or website that has a lot of quilt shops that are in their, um, under their membership. And what they do is it's a place where you can search for fabric. So if you're looking for a particular fabric, you definitely want to go check out quiltshops.com. There are other ones that do it as well, but um, that's where I go first. And then I start going to the other ones. Most times I find what I need there. So that's one. And then Kevin, he showed me this, and I said, yeah, that's pretty. I like that, too. But I said, I can utilize this a lot better, so I got that one. But Kevin, on his own, has decided that I need this. And he didn't, I think he got, like, two yards here, okay? Maybe it could be, I don't know. <laughs> Let's open it up. Yeah, two yards. Um, salvage information says, Quilting Treasures again, Debbie Payne. That's all it's got. So it's got the same salvage information, does not have... A fabric name, no numbers, or anything like that. So you might want to Google Debbie Payne. And uh, this is how this fabric looks. Very colorful. I have no idea what I would do with this, but it would definitely look good in any type of a string quilt or something like that. You just, uh, it's just any color but red is in here which is weird. All the colors are here but red. <laughs> Even black and white's in here. So, I think that's, thank you, Kevin. <laughs> uh, he's adding to the collection that I'm trying to reduce a little bit. 
And then, while Kevin's also putting his studio back in order, he's going through his fabrics. And he's if he's got a lot of something or just don't want to use something, then he will pass to me as well. So we got some other fabrics you can see that were pass-alongs from Kevin. <laughs> People saying they love the fabrics. I see that. So these are just scrap pieces. Very nice. <laughs> All from Mr. Kevin. So I'm sending y'all stuff, people sending me stuff. <laughs> and he knows um, this is Glacier Park by Carol Breyer Fallard, but it looks so much like fossil fern prints. Very similar, so I can use them together. This has got a good chunk of yardage to it. I'm not sure why he didn't keep this one. Nice coloring. I think this will look good with African quilts too. African uh, prints as well as this one. Will look good with some African prints. So I think that's it, yes. So that's it. I just wanted to share some stuff that I've been holding on to because Kevin, um, I think I had, no, I, I recently got these. This is not the ones. I've had the jelly rolls for a while. I've had the pens for a while. Oh, I guess the last thing I can tell you about is my drink cup because I mentioned that last week. This also came off Amazon. I almost forgot because it's sitting in the back. But I want to talk about these uh, double... These stainless steel double wall cups, very nice. They hold, uh, I have not put anything hot in any of these cups. So I'm going to put just the T-Quilts logo on here. Don't know what, what it is yet. <laughs> and then this is also going to be into the donate pile. And I'll put a link for this one as well once the video go up, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, included in that, I bought the eight pack of cups. Uh, my husband's. Uh, been wanting to trying to get a hold of my stainless steel cups. I say, how you gonna just take my cup? He washed uh, dishes and then just gonna get him some water and take my cup. I go, oh no. <laughs> so I went back and ordered these so that when I put my cup in the uh, kitchen to get washed, he's not trying to steal my cups, okay? And then they also come with um, eight well, it's more than eight straws. It's like two or three different types of straws. You've got the, so you don't have to use a plastic straw. You've got the stainless steel. Then they've got these tips on them. So if you don't want to, uh, drinking off of stainless steel is not something that I like. So they've got these little black clips. And then they also have on the back side of here, these brushes for you to clean your straw out with. So that comes in the package. And then I forgot what this is, but this was in there as well. I'm blocking what it is right now. Um, I think it's just to, if you're pulling something through. Oh, th no, this is actually to clean the inside of your cup, if I'm not mistaken. This cleans the inside of your cup, but I don't know why we needed this part when you can just use a towel. So that's what that is. So I will also add one of these in, but it'll be something, just probably be a TQ on it for T-Quilt, something like that. And uh, yeah, just thought I'd throw that in there. But I love the cups. This cup is a bigger uh, cup, so I don't have to fill it as many times a day. I think I do about three of those cups a day compared to like four or five of the other ones. I don't know if it just takes me longer to get through the cup or if I'm drinking. I feel like I'm almost drinking less water because I'm not filling it up as fast. So that is that downside. Whereas when I had the other cup, I was filling it up. Seemed like I was filling it up eight times a day or something. But we'll see. <laughs> um, I love it though. Uh, let's see if anybody else has come in. Of course, I don't even remember where I left off, right? And then Court, uh, Kevin's going to say he's a mess, party of one. You got that right. And then you're talking about, ain't I a good friend? <laughs> that is funny. Mm-mm. 
Bonita Nance came in. Hello to you. She says, hey, everybody. I hope all is well. And Don says, ooh, la, la, Kevin did good. Yes, he, he knows what I like. And that's when we go to quilt shops together, he, instead of him shopping for himself, he's trying not to spend money. I'm trying not to spend money. But what does he do? He goes and picks up fabric and go, don't you like this? And it's stuff that he wouldn't buy that he know I would like. He's trying to spend my money. And I, he know we both go in with goals of, okay, we're just window shopping today. We're not going to spend any money. But. Kevin and I went to two quilt shops, and we were in there. We browsed both of them for a good long chunk of time, and we did not buy one piece of fabric. I was so proud of both of us. <laughs> that was last week. Really proud of both of us. Jolene says, I like both of those. I love color. Yes. <laughs> Linda says, fabric is beautiful, beautiful very colorful. Terry, good fabric taste, Kevin. <laughs> Carla goes, yes. <laughs> I got what was left on the boat for my good friend, Miss T. That's what it was on that uh, second one. Okay. Because I was surprised when I opened it up and it was, I'm like, he even got more than a yard on this. Madeline Shepard says, hello. Hello, Madeline. Welcome to the channel. Jackie says, wow, Kevin can pick my fabric anytime. <laughs> Robin says, Kevin, you are so sweet. He really is very nice. He's a very uh, good friend. I have to say that. Yes, looks like Fossil Fern. She was talking about that uh, Gail Briard Fallard fabric. Happy belated Mother's Day to the mother of all scrap quilters. That's Kevin. He's so funny. Rhonda says, when you like the fabric, how do you decide what patchwork pattern to use? What are general rules uh, to best show off the fabric? Um, most times when I have busy prints like that, if it's not one of those where I'm cutting big squares like and then offsetting it with something else, like BQ Quilts is known for having uh, patterns that feature large prints. Um, or Maple Island, I think it's called Maple Island Quilts or something like that. Um, they also have uh, patterns. Um, I'm trying to think. What else? Who else? I can't remember right now who else. But then you can also use them as your border prints as well. I would, if I'm going to use something sometimes for a border print, sometimes I'll start with that border print and then I'll pull those fabrics uh, in my quilt top. And then I might add, find a place inside the quilt where I might could use a little bit of it if I don't have a whole lot. I tend to buy three yards of fabric if I know I want to use it for a border. Then that way I can cut a few pieces in the center and put it in the center somewhere so it's just not at the border. But basically you use it as a border print and you can use it to pull your other colors. And then that other piece I was telling you about, I'm using for Millifori. I wanted it because it was straight line repeats. I didn't want it to be a standalone fabric. It's going to, when I cut that fabric, it's going to look like a stack and whack when I'm uh, done, when I use it. Darlene says, that's so nice of you, T. I like that cup. Yes, it's a nice, there are nice cups. And Terry says, look like a great cup. Yeah, uh, Kevin, oh, not Kevin, Eric says, at Deborah Quilts, we enjoyed the impromptu trunk show you did on Zoom, laughing out loud. Now, Eric, I thought what happened in Zoom stayed in Zoom. <laughs> I'm glad she was able to go. Um, I've been on different duty, so sometimes I'm available at, uh, like tonight, I didn't know if I was even going to be available at 7. I thought I was going to be late coming to the live chat, but and that's why I put it up late. I didn't put it up early today. It just depends on what I'm doing and where I'm at um, these days with my um, family situation being out of whack. So I just don't know where I'm going to be. Uh, Yolanda Cofield says, hi, everyone from North Carolina. Love all the fun stuff. Yes. Uh, Robin says, yes, Deborah, I need your machine embroidery skills. 
Uh, Helena Marie Carter's here says, Hi, T and Quilters. Been out for a while. My sister passed away. So sorry to hear that. Very sad. Hope you're doing well. Add you and your family to our list of prayers. List of people needing prayers. Kelly A is here says, I missed it, T. Where did you get that new larger cup? It's on Amazon. I have to, I'll put a link out there. I had linked up everything on my desktop computer. And then when I got in here, it was not there and I had to recreate everything. And I didn't have time then to go back out and search for the links. So I'll add them to this video uh, in the description box. Just come back later. Anyway, anybody that I know your name, you should be commenting on the outside of this video whenever it goes, uh, goes live. Um, the things that I said that I'm going to be donating to the prize box, I'm not donating the scraps. I'm going to do a big prize giveaway. And uh, only people that I know that have commented on the outside of this video will be included in that drawing. And then one of my Wednesdays, I'm not sure if it's going to be next week. It could be next week <laughs> or the week after that. It just depends on what's going on. Uh, I have a retreat schedule that I'm going to next week, so I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to do all I need to do. So it could be two weeks. So we'll see how my week goes. Um, but I will give you... And it is, I don't, yeah, it's not on my Amazon affiliate page because I had links set up for that, the pins, the cup, the pins, the cup, and it was something else I got off Amazon. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it was two pins in the cups. Um, but I'll uh, make sure you all get the links for those. Um, and then also Kelly A is saying to Helena that, uh, hugs to you that she's so sorry to hear your information. Judy says, Kevin, does anyone else in your family quilt? Uh, Robin also saying, Helena, that she's sorry for your loss. And Deborah thanking Eric and Robin. I have plenty more quilts to show if things get slow. <laughs> um. Darlene's also sharing her condolences to Helena. Um, Yolanda says, I like using prints for borders too. Yep. Matlin Shepard says, I'm making a three t-shirt, three t-shirt quilts. And I got those on my list. I've already cut the shirts so I could get the fronts and the backs if it's got stuff on the back. But I haven't sat down and uh, done anything else. Okay, so I need three shirts by the end of June, maybe, <laughs> or the end of July. I can't remember what the date is. But my goal was trying to have them done by the end of June. But that may not happen with, you know, every time you make plans, something come up, right? But I will have them by the customer's deadline, that's for sure. Uh, but she says, we had our uh, niece lose her five-year-old. Oh, I do understand that. <laughs> we had um, quite a quite a tragedy in our family years ago. And says that they gave me tons of her clothes making throw size for mom and dad and the two grandmas. Now that's really sweet. And Janet says, uh, sorry for your loss. Helena, condolences to you and your family. Eric says, T, I am not mentioning all the other stuff that went on. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Helena's also says thank you all for your kind words we should come first before your retreat laughing out loud I hear what you're trying to say Katrina <laughs> but when I'm going on retreat and I've spent my money guess who's going first and then guess who needs to go on a retreat <laughs> it would be me and the funny thing is I don't even know if I'm going to be able to go I'm planning to go I'm, I'm going to act like I can go, and, you know, things could change. So that's my goal. My goal is to go because I need to go. Um, and the right way says my condolences, Helena. Judy Judy is also talking to Helena. Sorry for your loss. Uh, a lot of people giving her condolences. 
Kevin says to Judy, my grandmother and two great aunts quilted, and I was always in their quilting rooms playing with fabric and sewing machines. And Angela goes, yes, Eric, we don't want to hear about uh, the Eric Odom Foundation business laughing out loud. That is too funny. And I saw Sue's just pop up on the screen. She says, yes, you need to go so you can recharge. Yeah, so, you know, I put a lot of people ahead of myself, family, friends, quilters, um, my tea quilters, so followers. And so sometimes, uh, when, especially when it comes up for a retreat, yep, I'm going to put myself first. So if I don't get uh, names prepared for a drawing for next Wednesday, it will be all right. It'll be another Wednesday, hopefully, God uh, willing, so... Um, and it's a giveaway. <laughs> uh, I tend to make sure that I try to get any of my orders out when I can. This has just been a rough couple of weeks for me, but, um, it took me a minute. Once I got all my earlier orders out last week, it took me like a week to mail any more after that. So, um, apologize for that, but I can only do so much. I, I do realize that. And it's like, I have to sit down and do nothing. And I still have not read emails i try to look at some of the stuff on social media facebook page uh, i haven't even responded to a lot of youtube comments if they ask me a question i may respond but if it's an in-depth answer needed i don't tend to do a whole lot on these phones because they always trying to auto correct what you're putting in because they don't understand a lot of stuff that we're talking about in the quilting industry so i tend to wait till i get on my desktop but i've been working on taxes i did my brother's taxes i did I started mine and then realized that I was missing a paper my husband needed. So my taxes are now on hold. And I also, I went to my sister to give her some eggs from Kevin. And uh, she had the nerve to give me her taxes. I said, oh, heck. <laughs> so instead of uh, doing that, I got another one. And my mother had her taxes uh, done through i can't remember what organization that is so that saved me from having to do hers this year so she took hers uh to one of your neighborhood centers i forget what it's called i'm just blocking right now it's new in um uh, in her area so she took advantage of that because she was having difficulty getting her uh stimulus uh payments and so they had an in on how they could get her stimulus payments uh for her faster so um, that's why she went with them. Darlene says, don't forget to thumbs up. Thanks in advance. Thank you, Darlene. And, uh, Yolanda Cofield says, T, enjoy your retreat. I hope to sign up for one soon. Yes. And anybody that's, a, um, a moderator, I'm going to automatically just put you in as a person in the drawing because you work for me all year. I do try to send my moderator something free, especially when they order. I try to put something in their packages if they uh, have an order from me during the year. Uh, because when it comes time for Christmas and stuff like that, I have so much going on that I just can't even get involved in sending uh, gifts for Christmas. So I try to do so. I'll make sure that all of my moderators get added into the drawing as well. Um... <laughs> uh, hold on uh, eric says i tried typing quarter inch on my phone it auto corrected and put uh, 25 cents <laughs> after all of this miss t wonders why i got her fabric really laughing out loud <laughs> uh Rhonda says self curse wonderful yes uh, thing to retreat to recharge is always good yes and the only reason i'm considering i had another retreat scheduled for june and it was like five hours away from home and i said okay i can't do that one and so this one is only 40 minutes from home so i said if something uh happens and i have to come back to st louis then i need to um get back as quick as possible so that's why I, I had two retreats scheduled. Didn't even talk about the other one because I knew I probably was going to have to cancel it. So, But I do want to go on at least one retreat this year. <laughs> Sue says, you need to hide doing tax season. You got that right. But they know where I am. But my sister is always late. She tends to owe every year, so she don't really care if, um, if I do them late or not. She just pay the penalty 
Um, but she she owes every year, so. And I don't even like doing taxes when people owe a whole lot of money. And uh, just for people that are not uh, uh, tax people, <laughs> your taxes are not due by the deadline that the government sets for you unless you owe. When you owe, then you're, you have to file by the deadline. My sister gave me her taxes after the deadline, so I'm assuming she really didn't want them done by the deadline because I would have had them before that. Um, but if you don't owe on your taxes, then you've got up to three years to file your taxes, okay? <laughs> Just keep that in mind. you got up to three years to get a, re a refund if you don't owe. If you don't owe, most likely you're going to get a refund because I've never seen a tax return that came out where they didn't at least owe you a dollar, okay? <laughs> I've never had one come out at a zero. So, um... June says, I'm glad you will be getting away and having fun. Yes. Katrina says, just turn off your autocorrect on phones. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> and then I have to figure out how to do all that. I do know that you can probably hold some feature and go get it, but, you know, it is it is what it is. I just wait and go to my desktop. I'm not, I don't like typing five paragraphs to respond to people asking me, um, about long arm quilting machines and stuff like that so i tend to just go to my desktop when i get a chance and answer that type of stuff and shari has been doing taxes since 1978. i actually um i used to work for uh big the big tax conglomerate in the usa i don't know if they everywhere but uh, I quit because I just felt like the fees they were charging people were just outrageous. And Eric says, five paragraphs? Sometimes it is, Eric. They ask a lot of questions. Uh, some of these tea quilters out here think I'm one person to them. <laughs> that I'm here just for them. But, you know, I don't mind if people are, like, legitimately con uh, have concerns and I try to help them. And then other times... I can't help people because it might be a brand of machine that I just test drove for like two minutes at a quilt show. So I'm not really an expert at that machine. I just didn't choose it, you know. <laughs> Kelly says, big hugs to UT. It's good and necessary to put yourself first, at least occasionally. <laughs> Angela says, do any of UT folks know of a really good tutorial or even a book that shows really good block cutting tricks he said not -uh, not on a cell phone nope I'm not doing that on a cell phone Gweenie Simpson is here says hi from Alberta Canada we got a lot of people from Canada here today welcome to the channel guys uh, Robin says oh I found pattern and just printed the pattern Okay, Robin, you know you got to send me the link, right? <laughs> I want to see what it is. Lynette uh, says, I did four years of this, so they're holding my 2020 until they see I don't owe for 17, 18, and 19. They really need to run me my, run me my money. And uh, so they're holding her 2020 taxes until, so you didn't, you haven't filed 17, 18, and 19. You can't just skip years on your taxes so you cannot file 17 and 18 when it's time for you to file them because you can file them all and get the money but you can't file you can't skip years and then say okay i want my refund in this year because they could assume that you owe in the previous years maybe you opened up a business for a year made a million dollars and they're wanting their tax money so that's how they work they will hold your money girl and Stephanie says, I'm lurking from Canada, too. Hey, Stephanie. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, the tax people don't be playing. So, I do file every year. I normally have my taxes done in February, um, sometimes early March. So, this is, I had issues with the, I would like to just do it electronically so I can upload it electronically. And I can just go straight to the form in the computer and I don't even answer all the questions because I already know how to do taxes. So I just put my numbers in. It does the calculations for me. And uh, 
my tax stuff just isn't working. So I'm doing everything by hand this year. And I am not a happy camper because once you stop writing a whole lot and then you start back writing all of a sudden, your hands start to hurt. <laughs> so yeah, I got to copy one for my brother because uh, I forgot about he didn't get one of his stimulus payments. So I had to go back and add that in. Uh, I was talking with Deborah. And I, I, I wasn't even thinking about that. He had told me that, but I was like, we'll deal with that later. And Deborah goes, it's on the tax forms. And it was in one of those other categories. Um, so, and it only applied to him. Everybody else got all their money, but he didn't get all his money, which was weird. He didn't get the middle payment. He got the first one, he got the third one, but he didn't get the second one. So, so kind of weird. Oh, and Lynette says she did it all at one time. What happened when you do taxes out of the tax year? Like, if say I didn't file my 2019 taxes and I mail them in on the outside of the envelope, you should put down that this is for tax year 2019. Because what happened is they're going to send it to the people who are doing current tax returns for the current year, and then it all gets uh, mixed up. So they're going to hold them until all of those get done. But if you should have mailed them all separately and on those uh, documents on the outside, you should have put tax year and have them go to the right places. And so that way they can do pre-sorting in their in-house mail room to get your stuff to the right person. But I'm not saying that would have your 2020 was going to be on hold anyway, because you got three years, I think you said, that they had to do before that. And they're going to make sure that you don't owe in any of those previous years before they send out the current year. So that's just that's just how they work. And it says, I like the quick and easy block tool book. It shows over 100 blocks each in five different sizes with cut instructions on Amazon. I think I have that book as well. Um, Angela says, don't fool around and get put in jail. Late tax filers just file for an extension laughing out loud. You still won't, I'm telling you, you won't get put in jail. I have done taxes for people that have been three years late. You only gonna get, you only gonna go, you're gonna get fined if you owe them if they owe you it doesn't matter they don't even care if you file if they can if you okay if you don't file your tax returns they'll eventually do a tax return for you they used to <laughs> and they will not give you any of your credits they'll let you claim yourself and then that's going to be about it so they're not going to assume that your dependents are yours or any of that kind of stuff or you get any extra credits um and then if you don't owe, they're not going to file it and send you money back. They'll just know that you don't owe them. But if if you owe them and you don't file, it's when you start getting into uh, issues with the IRS. But you won't go to tax jail for... Um, I know people that haven't filed. They just you won't, You're going to pay the penalties for every month that you're late. So if you're four years late filing your taxes, they're going to charge you for it. They ain't got time to put that many people in jail. You know, we don't even want to talk about who at the higher up in the, uh, the USA that didn't even file taxes, okay? <laughs> so, yeah. Mm -mm. Ice and first, I tell OT and everyone from Novia Scotia. Nova Scotia. So hello to you. Welcome to the channel. We're already over 8, it's 8 fit 13, and I'm still up here talking to you guys. <laughs> oh gosh. I need to do this uh sew along part four before they put out the next. No, part nine before they put out the next uh so part. I think this sew along ends on Saturday as far as instructions. So she's given a blog post daily, Monday through Saturday, with instructions. So I'm hoping that it's going to be over soon. 
Uh, Eric says, if you don't file your tax return, the IRS will do a tax return for you, but they will not issue a refund. And that's exactly what I said. If, if they owe you, you ain't getting it. But if you owe them, I bet you get an amount due. <laughs> and like I said, it ain't going to have all your deductions that you would normally have on it either. We're just having a good time with you, T, laughing out loud, Darlene. Yes. <laughs> And Darlene also said hello to Ice and Fire as well. Lisa did too. And Eric. So you all are so nice. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and end here. I don't have anything else to add that's quilt related. <laughs> um, we don't want to talk about taxes. I got to go finish my brothers up so I can get them ready. Get them into the envelopes and address them and everything else. So we're going to go ahead and uh, end here. And we had Lizette Zay is just popping in. She says hello T and friends. Late join. Yes. Yeah, so you'll have to go back and watch to see what's going on. And I recommend you do that if you just came in and missed it because there's some stuff going on. Um, but we're going to go ahead and say good night here. Again, if you are interested in, I'm going to eventually put up a list of books, but that list of books will be Facebook. And then people can pick one book and then um, we'll see how that goes. If nobody else wants the books and you pick more than one, if you want to pay shipping for it, then that's fine. But I'm uh, giving people one book that I'm just going to be sending out in media mail probably. I don't know. We'll see. Because if I'm paying for it and I'm paying for everybody's books, they're going to be going the slow route, okay? <laughs> uh, I only got so many dollars. So let's see. Um, Lynette says, and after a few years, they won't let you go tax exempt and make you pay the highest tax bracket. Yes, ma'am, I've had more money come out of a bonus check than some people make in a month. <laughs> uh, Barbara Polk says, it's been fun. Thanks. Good night, everybody. So I will see you all on Saturday sewing chat. I don't know what my sewing project's going to be. Maybe I'll still be working on laundry baskets Saturday uh, blocks, depending on how my day go. And uh, see you all then. You all stay blessed, be safe, and quilt out. <laughs>